the ability to distinguish between spirits. A lot of argument about what exactly this means, but in general, I suppose it it allows an individual who harnesses said gift to recognize whether other people harnessing other gifts are coming from a good place or not is one use. So one example would be like speaking in tongues. Somebody who has the gift of distinguishing spirits might see Kenneth Copeland speaking in tongues, the demon pastor speaking in tongues. And because I have distinguishing, I have the ability to distinguish between spirits. I can see that dude's not a Christian. That dude's a fucking demon. Very clear to me. Obviously it's not clear to everybody else because they, that dude has a church with what hundreds of thousands of people that are members and giving him money who are Christian people. So those people don't have the gift of distinguishing between spirits. That is obvious because that dude is literally a demon. Great example for kind of what I'm talking about. It also might involve the ability to, dist to distinguish between in general, good and evil spirits. So wet whether activity is happening currently, like Kenneth Copeland speaking in tongues, taking your money, just in general, you walk into a grocery store and there is some kind of evil entity or something. That is another pretty common belief about what that gift could entail and how it might be used. 